All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing 40 knots from the house of Zhirzhov. Listen, we finally have one on the channel. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this, and I've been ramping up to do so. If you recall, back in May, I released a video talking about five fragrances that I needed to purchase in the summer of 2020. Now, not to say that all of those fragrances were summer fragrances, but they were fragrances that I figured I wanted to buy within this season. Now, we know that we are quickly approaching Approaching the end of summer and this one is in the collection now and I figured I would bring you the official review but before we do that just to give you some insight on that list and the progression I was able to pick up four out of those five fragrances and the fifth one I am still looking for and it will make it to this collection eventually at some point hopefully by the end of this year but enough about that let's get down to this as I stated today we're talking about Georges 40 knots fragrance and this is part of the JTC collection which is stands for join the club now from my understanding the JTC or join the club collection is really a collection of 10 fragrances centered around clubs that you would visit or join and these clubs might be rather luxury or refined and within that collection, you'll see fragrance like Birdie, which is supposed to recall the joys of golfing or being a part of a country club. You'll see things like Dawn, and that's the next one that I need in the collection, D-O-N, be the Dawn, because that one is supposed to represent the gangster out there. And then you also have, obviously, this one here, 40 Knots, which is supposed to recall the joys of sailing on the Mediterranean Sea or being in a yacht club. Now, I've always been a fan of the Zhirzhov presentations from afar, and even in the older style fragrances where the bottles was were a bit more square, I still felt that they stood out. However, the JTC uh, Join the Club version of 40 Knots is no different. Now, the bottle has this rich, deep blue hue, or purple, but I'm gonna say blue because if we're talking about the Mediterranean Sea, then why not be blue? but this one could be a blue or purple. It has gold accents, and even on the, the logo there, you have the Zhirzhov in gold. Now, 40 Knots is listed as this woody aquatic scent, and it's packed with aquatic notes. You have some woody notes as well, and there's also some type of amber vibe here it may not be amber in the fragrance and there's also a hint of spice which could come from cardamom or cinnamon i'm not quite sure they have been super tight lipped in terms of releasing the notes for these fragrances and that happens from time to time where you'll see some fragrance houses really just hold the notes close to them like i, I guess that would stop someone from recreating it but i don't think so at all now to me, 40 Knots is not your average marine or aquatic style fragrance. Um, honestly, I've actually had a lot of trouble with some of the fragrances that uh, really fit that profile. One that immediately comes to mind is Creed's Arofa. As that one is beginning to grow on me a bit more, I've had it for, I don't know, four or five years, if not longer at this point, and it's not one that I typically reach for. But this one here really takes a different approach to that vibe, and in my personal opinion, they did it extremely well. But again, as I said, it's not your average aquatic type of fragrance. Really, this one really takes a high-end approach to that aquatic marine style fragrance. And although there are a lot of luxury fragrance houses that attempt to do this, um, this one has really done it well. Now, the House of Zhirzhov has been known for luxury, and this one really fits the bill in the same profile that you could expect with this house. I mean, what else do you expect from a fragrance that is based around a yacht club? Now, I don't know how many yacht clubs you've been to but uh, most cases you're not going there if you're broke and you actually have to have a little discretionary cash or maybe a lot to do so now this one we're going to take a turn really quick for a minute there's a lot of like boating clubs out there where you can pay a monthly fee and grab a boat and go on about your business but even that isn't the cheapest thing out there so if you are into that luxury type of feel if you love to be on the water and maybe your pockets can't afford that 50 million dollar yacht Maybe that's a that's a big yacht, <laughs> but uh, this one here will definitely help fill that void. Forty Knots has this luxurious, dense 
rich and opulent feel as you would imagine from this house at least the fragrances that i've come across from here have all been within that realm and again this one is no different like i said a lot of the um, marine aquatic type of fragrances that really are tied to recreate you being on the water come off super salty and depending on which notes they use to create that salty vibe they can come off smelling quite poorly on your skin um, if you're sweating if it gets really high heat and with that like listen if i'm going to have a marine fragrance then most likely i'm going to be um somewhere where i get hot okay so if i'm hot i don't want to come off smelling you know eh, kind of iffy and, and kind of uh this not rich at all okay and this fragrance is a lot different and i think another thing with this fragrance that really changes it up a bit is the density here okay so this one is a dense fragrance um and it also has a lot of body and volume along with the scent which i enjoy and i appreciate because i think that helps set this one apart now this one has been compared to dior's uh the private collection the Privé collection um amber nui however I could see that there's the amber notes type of vibe here, although it's not listed, um, at least in the notes that we can see, which is literally none. <laughs> um, I, I still feel like this one has a good vibe to it. Um, does it have an amber type of feel? I definitely believe it does, but I don't believe it leans enough to that way. I, as this one dries down and you know the top goes away, you begin to get some of that saltiness, but again, here it's done extremely well. Now I heard Josh over at since since originally talk about this fragrance and he mentioned hey if i had this fragrance in my collection when i did a spring or summer list video i would have definitely added this to it and i definitely believe that this one would have been a strong contender to be on a niche list because again i think this is a different vibe it works and the performance on this thing isn't bad at all before i tell you all about that let me tell you about where i grabbed this fragrance from this one was sent to me for review by twisted lily by my request they gave me the picks and chooses and i said you know what let me grab that one and along with it they were able to hook you guys up with a discount code if you're not familiar with twisted lily i'll leave them linked down below you can check them out they specialize in a lot of niche and hard to find fragrances which is a plus okay um, we talked about a lot of companies on this site for various reasons and this one here is really going to fill that void and that gap for those of you who are here looking for a special or rare find all you have to do is click the link down below go to the site on your own it really doesn't matter use the code bbb10 and that is going to save you 10 percent off your order listen this code is going to stretch from now to the end of the year so hopefully you can go ahead and get all your holiday shopping your summer shopping any shopping you want to do while you're quarantined in and save a little coin along the way and that is a great thing and speaking of great things let me tell you about the performance on this fragrance this one has amazing performance okay it projects well um it also has a great amount of longevity especially when you're looking at this uh, aquatic type of scent traditionally these fragrances have some really volatile top notes which cause you to really have this bright opening and then the fragrance quickly disappears um however with this one here that's not the case at all you're going to get some bright notes in the top again you're going to get this this dense fragrance that really is going to perform well for you within the warmer weather. For what you get with this fragrance in terms of longevity, you're going to get 10 plus hours for this one here. I would say like on my skin, I get, I don't know, 10 to 12 hours with this one. And then I decide to do a little test on these fragrances. So I really give you an idea of how I do these things, which is gonna sound really weird. Like I spray them on my hands, my hands <laughs> i'll spray them on my hands and I'll, I'll try to get in and help the missus with the dishes right i'll go through and it'll be a lot of water a lot of scrubbing etc before we place them in the dishwasher and that gives me like hey i'm scrubbing i'm scrubbing i'm getting this thing off and if it's still there that helps me get an idea what the performance is like also spraying this thing on out of the shower to go to bed and you know obviously constantly on the sheets etc you're rubbing blah 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 yeah okay this thing is still performing but i spray this thing on a card i'm getting i don't know three days like three days on a test strip 
if not more, I decided not to even try again after that. So performance on this fragrance is Beast Mode, which is also more of a rare find when it comes to this type of fragrance. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat, I kind of gave you a heads up to let you know that I was going to be uh, wearing this fragrance or actually reviewing this fragrance. I had already been wearing it, that I was going to be reviewing this fragrance. And a lot of you out there had said that you have smelled this fragrance and that you enjoyed it. And a lot of you also wanted to know my takes on this one. So um, all in all on this one, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 i think this one is very deserving of that um you know you know what fuck it this one deserves a 10 out of 10 i'm not sure what would be wrong with this scent here um it smells great it has excellent performance in terms of longevity projection and sillage and i'm not really sure what else that i could want from a scent and this one has it all so this one is going to get a 10 out of 10 for me and it's not because this was sent to me from review because i could ask for anything but this is the one that i actually wanted and this one here is solid. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this house. What else should I dive into? Um, I think that Dawn fragrance really sounds like one I need to try out. However, I would love to know what fragrances you believe I should try. Also saw Coach Rob, he had a George Roth that had some strawberry in it and I was interested in trying that one out. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this house. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. Be don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. I begin to leave that Twisted Lily code down there in the discount section for you because it's gonna be valid all year. I wanna make sure that you guys can go ahead and capitalize on it in case you missed this video. You wouldn't even hear me talking about this right now, but just know I'm looking out for you. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.